PEI farmers have a new online system to warn them when their crops are in danger from a costly disease called fusarium head blight. It can damage the heads of cereal plants, including spring wheat, winter wheat, and barley, and contaminate the grain, making it toxic at certain levels to humans and livestock. There's been years where, you know, there's thousands of acres that have been destroyed in the field or hauled out of bins, so it's huge uh, economic impact. That's what scientists are trying to prevent by tracking weather conditions, especially humidity and rainfall. Generally, this disease is quite endemic in our area, which means it's pretty much here all the time. Um, but when you get a risk of disease actually happening, it's typically because you get warm, humid conditions. What the forecast tool will actually do is examine weather over the last week and incorporate those factors into the models to actually predict whether disease is likely to occur or not. Foster says the forecasting tool is important on PEI, where growers have had the disease in recent years. It's hard to predict whether in any given year you're going to have fusarium head blight. Over the years we've had a number of different epidemics and the growers here will all remember 2023 was a pretty bad year for fusarium head blight where a lot of grain was lost because of the disease. Foster says a warning system is important because once fusarium head blight is in a field, it's hard to stop. And spores can even spread to other crops in other fields. Researchers are also tracking how pathogens like this one are responding to changing weather conditions. It doesn't necessarily mean that climate change will make it worse, but in some of the climate predictions have said that we will get warmer and wetter and Fusarium graminearum likes warm and wet weather. There are also plans to continue improving the forecasting tool and potentially expand it. And even looking at forecasting other diseases that affect cereal and oilseed crops. This is gonna be a real asset, I think, going forward for the industry. The forecasting tool is available on the website of the Atlantic Grains Council, free of charge to growers across the Maritimes. Nancy Russell, CBC News, Newton.